What's going on guys? Today we are looking at second inform Bellotti. I already did this, but my mic was on mute, so yeah, doing it again. So let's go into it. Let's try and remember what I said with him. Um, so looking at his price already, he is around about 46.5k on the Xbox and 51k on the PlayStation at this moment in time. Realistically, can't see him dropping too much more, and I can't see him possibly rising much more just mainly because the icon spcs are kind of trapping the informs into a certain sort of value now um normally this card would probably go for anywhere from 30 to 40k i would have said but with obviously these icon spcs requiring a lot of high rated informs that is why these are definitely staying up in price in my opinion so First off, make sure you like this video if you do enjoy. We're going to be smashing out more player reviews, hopefully waiting for Foot Birthday to come up very, very soon. I believe it was out on the 16th of March, um, so don't get why it's not came out yet. Uh, maybe they're just waiting for the promo to really hit, possibly either next weekend or sometime this week. But we'll smash that out, and then we have Team of the Season to follow, which is going to be huge. So Make sure you like that video and subscribe for more content just down below. You'll absolutely love it. I'm loving the support. We've just hit 1,900 subscribers and there's the plug done for this video. So let's get into some of his information on this card. He is a three-star weak foot with a five-star skiller. No, other way around. He's a three-star skiller with a five-star weak foot. Don't know how I read that wrong. Five foot 11 with a right foot and he has got a high, high attacking and defensive work rate. So realistically love the weak foot thing that is absolutely fantastic in a striker the three star skill moves you could get better obviously four star like i always say in most of my videos is the preferred skill move for the average player for me five star is then above and beyond um you're looking at some really nice skills once you can do them um but three can do i think you can still have the basics but personally i would always rather have four the five foot eleven not the tallest striker in the world, but he's not tiny, so that is always nice as well. And the uh, and the defensive and, and uh, attacking work rates, realistically, the custom tactics, if you keep stay up on strikers, which I can imagine a lot of people do, um, that really won't have too much of an issue. I didn't see too much of an issue with him, so we'll carry on. So, let's go into some of his attribute, uh, attribute in-game stats. Um, first off, we'll look at the base... Of every single stat we've got 83 pace which gives you 83 sprint speed and 81 acceleration he has then got 83 dribbling which some of the standouts pretty much and well actually every single one is 80 or above but the standouts for me are 85 agility um, 84 dribbling 81 reactions and then also 80 composure personally felt like he had a lot more composure than that um, really really clinical finishes but we'll get into the shooting of him in a second passing wise is below par, but he does have 77 short pass, which is his highest stat on there, um, that realistically makes him more usable than having a huge amount of passing. I don't really need masses, but it's always a nice little stat to have if you're going for them higher, higher rated cards, the 90s, the 95s, all of them. Um, then we move on to the 94 head and accuracy he does have, um, that is a that is kind of joint with the 86 jump and he does have uh, 5 foot 11 so to be honest he's not out heading many people felt like he did win a few but if you're coming up against a Varane uh, a Varane sorry or a Van Dyke, 9 times out of 10 he's probably going to get headed on um, but if he's alone in the box if you've managed to hit him or find him at a back post or something like that he has got a very nice accuracy on his head um, and also has a very nice finishing so that's really nice i think his heading is something of a positive for him um, he also has 86 stamina and aggression and then 88 strength so his physicality is fantastic i think that's definitely a real highlight of this card very very strong and very very willing when it comes to his physical aspects and i really really rate that on this card then we have the 87 shooting on this on this card fantastic 91 positioning 94 finishing 87 short uh, short short pass no shot power 85 volleys fantastic he does have only 71 uh, long shots but to be honest you get near goal he's going to score so that is always really really nice so overall with them really happy i think the main stats to take away from this is his shooting and physical felt like he was really really clinical in front of goal which is always nice to see in a striker especially for an 86 as to be honest most teams now for me are looking 88 plus in every single position bar from potentially the left and right back which 
you don't really have major high rated players there apart from maybe the icons or some of the flashbacks so that for me is where i'm standing with that the chem style that you want to go with him well there's a couple to be honest there's mainly two that i would go for and that is either the hunter card if you really really want to burn out his pace or you go for the hawk which for me is probably my more favored uh chem style with him Personally, the Hunter is really good for getting his pace up, which would get the stats to 92 pace and 93 finishing. Um, but for me, with the Hawk, you get the 87 pace, which is p personally fantastic anyway. You then still get the 92 finishing as well as 92 physical as well. So that's a no-brainer for me. I really enjoy that, that element of the Hawk. And I said this as well with the Aki review that I did after this, but didn't record again, which I'm going to have to do. I like the fact the the Hawk and the Anchor work on the pace, the shooting, and the physical. And then for the Anchor, the pace, the defending, and the physical. So they're personally some of my favorite um, chem styles with more pacey players. As you don't really need too much more. And you'll get the nice physical and shooting from him. So the chem styles, I'm going to go with Hawk. You can use Hunter as well. And possibly go with maybe, is it a Deadeye or is it? No, it's Sniper, isn't it? Sniper gets your dribbling and shooting. So you'll have 91 on both of them. That, again, would work. But personally, for me, Hawk is where it's at. So what did I like? What didn't I like? Make sure you like it if you've gone this far. And we'll get into the proper detailed review of him. So what I didn't like about him Personally, a little bit short for my opinion. If he was just that little bit taller, I think the heading on this card would be just soul destroying. He's already got a really nice head, but if he was a little bit taller, he would actually be fantastic in the air. Um, obviously, he's still got that element about him. If he's going against a left or right back in the air, probably at least seven or eight times out of ten, he's going to beat them, which is always fantastic. So, Realistically, they're, they're the only things that I didn't like about him. His passing was somewhat average. Obviously, you don't need a massive amount with, when it comes to a striker, so I'm not too fussed about that. But overall, this card was absolutely brilliant. So let's go on to the things that I did like. His pace, personally with the Hawk, was absolutely phenomenal. Really, really quick. Very good to react, and his positioning was absolutely outstanding. Um, really thought that he was definitely an all-round striker when it comes to finishing. His his Cl clinical clinicalness yeah clinicalness is a word i think was just unreal he scored so many goals he scored one-time finishes he scored it going through on the one-on-ones the little finesse ran a keeper he took it around a keeper a couple of times overall was just a goal machine so for four what is it 46k on the xbox most definitely worth this card um realistically if it depends on who you've got in your, your team if you're going for these really really high rated cards he may not fit but if you go in for them kind of average you you're looking at gold three two and one in foot champs you've definitely got a card in here that you could use obviously he's a bit more of a budget striker um he's not costing hundreds and hundreds of k's obviously you can find them they've got the carnivals you've got the akadi the mobile the mertens they are fantastic cards but they will cost you double to triple this card so for this card to be an 86, if you've got him in a foot champs, hats off to you because you've definitely got an absolute mad card. Um, so overall rating this card, I'm, I'm having to rate him so, so high because he was absolutely unreal. The defenders he came against and how he managed to just split them, go past them and then score around De Gea's, Lloris's, Courtois, he just made it look easy. And to be honest, with a lot of strikers nowadays, I don't really see that. I see a few strikers kind of maybe do once or twice they'll get past him but doing it pretty much every time is really really nice to have so overall rating i'm giving him a 9.5 i really think he was absolutely fantastic in front of goal and definitely definitely worth a shout i have tried his 84 i'm not too sure if i did a review on him but i did think that card was okay this card adds absolute leaps and bounds onto him. So I'm really, really hoping that team of the season comes and Bellotti has got himself on that team. Because a 90, what? Look, it'll be like a 92 maybe, a 93 rated. I don't know how they're going to do the ratings this year. They kind of went a bit everything in last year. So it, it's going to be fantastic. It's got to be over a 90. So I'm waiting for that card. And that is going to be probably a 10 out of 10 at the very least because this card is fantastic a 90 version of him has got to be even better so 
Definitely try him out. Let me know down below what you think. I think this card is fantastic. Let me know if you've used both of his informs. Um, which one did you prefer? Did you think the 84 for the 29k was for value? Or would you reckon that uh, this 46k beast is worth your money? Personally, I'd say yes. Definitely go try him. Like this video if you did enjoy. We're going to be doing more player reviews. We're going to have Aki up next. And then I think we're going to have, um, I think it's Big Bigler. Bigler, something like that, the CDM that was in this team um, in the Argentinian for AC Milan. Definitely stay tuned, subscribe for more of that. We're going to be doing Foot Birthday when that comes out and Team of the Season and any other promos they decide to chuck in before then. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.